you know, I'm not Walter on the subject of over overpopulation. <laughs> Actually, it's more likely that the problem of overpopulation will solve itself. You see in developing nation or developed nation after developed nation, um, birth rates peaking and then declining. So, you know, a number of countries in Europe now have negative growth rates and the U.S. would be stable were it not for immigration. Um, and, and the, you know, the UN's commissions sort of see, see world population peaking, all other things being equal sometime in the next 50 years and then trending downward because it does seem to be something that happens with development. And even, and, and in many countries, uh, India and China, even without being fully developed, you see, you see growth rates slowing and even halting. So that problem will solve itself. The question is whether there'll be anything left in the world to save by the time that happens. Obviously, and this is an issue Walter doesn't really go into uh, because he's simply reacting to many people. Right. Um, it all depends on the level of resource consumption. Yeah. You know, 100 America, Americans do a lot more damage to the environment than a thousand Sudanese. Yeah. And yet he's responding in this visceral way to the, just the crowdedness of the planet. Yeah. And, um, and to a feeling that there's no, there's just, there is no other thing left. There's only us. We've just basically completely made this planet, you know, a human theme park. Right. And at least with climate change, the climate, even if we're affecting the climate, um, it's still weather. You know, yeah. it doesn't, it, 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 it doesn't, doesn't take the form of a blimp or a skyscraper. It's, right. you know, wind, rain, right. a right. warm trend. You feel it. You you, yeah, you feel it, it exactly. Yeah. And, and moreover, um, you know, species, although there are a lot of bird species, for example, they're struggling to adapt to the change. There is some possibility that they can adapt. Yeah. So there is, there's sort of, there's that flexible nature, but if you just, but, but what Walter's responding to is this kind of, the, sim, the symbolism of every last acre of the planet being somehow, you know, meddled with and made into just another backyard. Right. And that's, a, that's more of a poetic concern. Right.